Hi, everyone. I am Natalie Hall. I'm Corey Sevier. And we are so excited for you all to see our new movie, Road Trip Romance. So we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Channel sent our way um, that we are going to be answering. So, Corey, do you want to get started? Let's do it. Okay, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> First question. In Road Trip Romance, longtime rivals Megan and Alden, you're Alden, I'm Megan, we both get stranded in Colorado and we, le uh, we lean on each other to make it back to our hometown. Without giving too much away, can you share how our character's relationship starts to progress throughout the movie? Well, shall I go first, Corey? Oh my gosh, yes. thank you so much. Okay, yes. okay. So um, we lean on each other because we both have to get back to our hometown. So we kind of lean on each other because we need each other to get there. Um, without giving too much away, we do run a car together. Corey, you're going to say something. Yeah, no, I was going to say the key to this is the yeah. car. Okay. One of car. us can only get a car. Yes. And I would say at the beginning of the movie, our relationship is that being driving partners probably wouldn't have been our first choice. No. But this, is a matter, this is a matter of necessity. Yes. We both have important events to get back to, to our hometown. And fate puts us in the same party. Exactly. You saved the day. You saved this question, and you might save Megan's life in the movie. Who knows? Maybe. Or maybe Megan saves my life. Maybe. Who knows? I guess everyone will find out. Them. But they definitely have a special. They they progress, like we talked about their relationship. Right. Yeah. It starts right, off right. a little rocky, but uh, it's got some places to go. Yeah, she might like you. Who knows? I don't. Know. You have to watch this. All right. Do you want to read number two? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> number two. To make it back home on time, our characters agree to go on a road trip together and learn to work with each other when they encounter a few obstacles. What are each of our favorite qualities about our characters? Shall I go first, Corey? Please, Nat. Always. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. Okay, so I think my character, I love how focused and driven she is. Um, about her career. Um, she's very passionate about what she does. So I love that about her. Um, she's a great sense of style too. She wears a great pink pantsuit that I loved. That's a great, um, that's a showstopper. That was a showstopper. Um, she loves her family, which is very important to her. That's like the most important thing to her. So I love that about her. And she's just a lot of fun. Um, she's very playful. She likes to banter. So um, I don't know. I think she's a great gal. I think so too. Yeah. She's fantastic. And Alden just has to, to get there at the beginning of the movie. But the funny thing is, is these two characters have a lot in common. So I play Alden Brown, similar to Megan's character, also extremely driven, loves to be right, thinks in the beginning of the movie that he's the smartest guy in the room, but he um, also values family. And he has that there, these two, I think, never realized when they knew each other in high school just how much they had in common. Right. And everything that you beautifully said there, Nat, um, it's pretty much the same qualities that Alden has. Very driven um, and has lots of facts that he likes to remind her all the time. Loves to banter, great sense of humor, uh, and really cares about his family. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Family is very important to both these characters. It is, yeah. They both have big hearts. Big hearts. Big hearts. Okay. Uh, Megan and Alden really get to know each other during the road trip. Um, they actually learn that they make a really good team together um, when they aren't competing against each other. Um, without giving any spoilers, Corey, don't give anything away. Do we each have a favorite scene that we enjoyed filming? Hmm. So shall I go first? Always. Go. Oh, always. Okay. So I loved shooting the Renaissance Fair that day hmm. because you had a kilt on and I got to be in way more layers than you and it was freezing cold and you were shaking. Um, so I enjoyed that. Um, you were very cold. For once, <laughs> I was totally fine in all my clothes. Well, yes. Um, and that rarely happens on these movies. You know, you, yeah. it's, it was nice that I was the one who, uh, in a dress. In a dress. Yeah. You very were, freeing though. Very yeah. Freeing. yeah you were wearing a kilt. So, so yeah, I, 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 yes, it was a kilt. A Scottish kilt. Um, so I love that whole day and all the games. And I also loved um, driving a tow truck. Oh, that was, so that's exactly what I was going to say. I think oh. the Renaissance Fair really takes the cake. 
driving the tow truck, the hilariously slow tow truck was a highlight. But I also would add, I actually just really liked the driving scenes early on as well. We mm -hmm. shot that late in the shoot. We had had like the whole shoot to really get to know each other. And the banter that we have in those early scenes in the car were some of my favorite. And and dire uh, our, our director, Samantha, really let us sort of riff a little bit. And uh, it, that, those were so much fun. I love Samantha. She was amazing. Yeah, she really let us play. Yeah, she was an incredible director. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, well, that's good. We have like the same... Yeah. Same stuff that we like. We must have had a yeah. great time those days. That's right. It honestly was one of the funnest shoots I've ever had. Oh, wow. I feel sure. yes, exactly. Thank you, Corey. Kilt and all. <laughs> Kilt and all. Should you read number four? Well, yes. <clears throat> Sorry, that's me. Number four. Uh, viewers are going to love seeing our characters attend the Renaissance Fair, which we've already mentioned, yeah. uh, and dressing up in costumes. Uh, are there any fun behind the scenes stories that we can share? Well, the Renaissance was very cold. Remember how cold we were that day? Extreme. And I yes. also remember two hay bales without giving too much away. Yes. Um, um, not warm. Surprisingly, hay not warm at night. No, no. Um, the dancing. Yes. The dancing. Yes. Yeah. Very fun. Um, Natalie is a far better dancer than I am in real life. So even though I'm the one taking the lead in that scene, Nat was giving me tips. So yes. Okay. So okay. I danced for a long time. I started dancing when I was three. Um, so I, you know, taught Corey a few things. But he in the movie had to look like he was teaching me, which he did a great job. You, you were, you're a natural. Well, thank you. I had a good, I had a good teacher. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, those were those were really good. And and you know the games portion of the Renaissance, just because again there's so much improvisation. Uh, I loved again. Don't want to give too much away, but it doesn't really go as well for Alden as he would have liked. And no. Getting to play a grown man very upset by <laughs> games was uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> that was so funny. I remember watching you that day, and I actually laughed out loud like several times just it was <laughs> I did everyone on the crew but in the best possible way so <laughs> I'm remembering that day now oh uh, gosh it was good <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we had a lot of laughs on this one yeah it was so much fun yeah. um now do I read the last this, this uh, next question did you just read you just no, read. no I did four so you five so I you do five. five yeah five yeah. okay throughout the trip Megan and Alden face a lot of self-discovery moments as they help each other overcome some of their childhood insecurities. Why do you think the viewers connect with that storyline? Corey, I'm gonna let you go first. Thank you. Uh, well, um, you know, I think in terms of the childhood insecurities, um, again, don't wanna give too much away here, but I mentioned earlier, these two characters didn't know as much about each other as they realized. And there was an element of Alden, although at the outset he's very, you know, I was right and remembering things from his perspective. Um, I think underneath it, he maybe secretly thought that he wasn't as smart or as cool mm -hmm. as Megan's character. And I think a lot of people can relate to, if you don't have the opportunity to get to know someone really well, you kind of can judge a book by its cover or you can have preconceived notions of, of people, positive or negative. And uh, I think it's a really fun exploration of that. Uh, you know, relationships and, and being open and, and also just kind of being confident in yourself. Corey, that was a beautiful answer. Thank you. I don't know how to top that. Well, thank goodness you let me go first. <laughs> uh, maybe I should always let you go first. You can just answer the whole thing for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, wait, so I think you beautifully said everything. I think they have very similar sort of ideas of themselves and I think they come together and realize the same thing. Like I, you know, didn't realize how cool you thought I was and you didn't realize how cool I thought you were and the self-discovery of that. And, um, you know, I, I'm sure you and I both like as children, you have insecurities, right? For sure. For sure. You might carry it with you, but then, you know, throughout the movie, they kind of discover those together and start getting, um, you know, connected and, the confidence and exactly and and i think i think it's also an element of fun like i think because when they were young they were it was all about the competition that they didn't realize how much fun the other person could be and it yes. took this road trip for them to be put in the situation for them to see that because they yeah. were too caught up with the competition element. 
so right. you know i think i think that's uh i mean that's it, it's really fun to watch that unfold it takes its time and there's so many hilarious obstacles that they hit together and i always say traveling with someone is the best way to get to know anybody absolutely so, <laughs> anyone who's had that experience whether it's platonic or romantic relationship traveling teaches you a lot about somebody yeah, we traveled a lot together in this movie in a car. So exactly. that's why we, we got to know each other super well because we we're Literally. just our acting together. I don't. Um, I don't. Which we had a lot of fun. It I was, will say. Yeah, you are you are a wonderful scene partner person to be. Oh, Corey, you're so nice. What a beautiful answer again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, last question. This is me, right? Number six. Number six. It's you. Number six. Okay. Um, okay. If we had the opportunity to take a road trip, what place would we visit and why? Okay, well, I would like to leave my one-year-old at home because <laughs> being on a, road, on a road trip with a one-year-old sounds like a nightmare. Um, <laughs> so um, he will stay home with the grandparents. Um, I would love to do Europe. I think that'd be so fun, don't you think? Absolutely, a hundred percent. That's, yeah. it's all, um, my list of things to do exactly and when i picture it my three-year-old isn't necessarily in the car saying you know what are we there yet um yeah maybe we'll save that for a special trip uh, yeah we, so that would be there. europe would be yours as well well europe is a i haven't done a ton of traveling in europe so that would definitely be high on my list um where else would I want to go? I've traveled a fair bit through the United States. I mean, there's there's even like I've never been to New Orleans. There's so many oh, places in Texas. Right That's kind of like a cool trip that I like to do kind of the southern United States. Um, yeah, driving through Colorado. I did it once, but I, I we drove right through only a couple of hours. I'd like to stay. You're like, nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I had a deadline. But I love back. Colorado, by the way. Yeah, well, I've never spent other than just sort of passing and waving to the mountains. That's all. I'm talking about. I love. Um, if we do a sequel, I will go back to Colorado to prepare more. Okay, us. that sounds good. Yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds like so. We both picked Europe. I think that's a good answer. Yeah, you can drive you, from one country yeah. to another. Would you, would you say you can drive from one country to another in Europe? That's the beauty. You can drive. I know. So much in, in, in a couple of days. So I know that's what country that's in Europe. Is there anything that you really, that you haven't seen yet that you really want to see? So I haven't been to Italy. Neither have I. Well, you know what? We're going to have to pitch a movie idea. Cool. Road <laughs> trip romance. Italy. Yes, in Italy. Um, <laughs> yes, and I will have to learn Italian. Yes. I actually mm -hmm. just learned a tiny bit for a film I just did. Oh, wow. Fancy. Yeah, Can I you say already something? forgot. You uh, forgot? Yeah, it's already forgotten. It's okay. Completely up. Okay. So well, I'm starting from scratch. Well, we'll have to work on that. All right. Um, okay. We're going to wrap up this chat, but we have a rapid fire game. It's called This or That, inspired by Road Trip Romance. So um, you're going to pick your, your the best option, what you like, okay? We can both okay. answer it. Is that okay? If you okay, answer yeah. this, we an I answer you go or you go first. Oh, you asked a question. I'll go. I'll and ask you go. questions and then we'll both answer. Okay. Should we both answer this? Well, no, it's, I was going to say we can both answer at the same time. Let's both answer at the same time. And if the connection's weird, you know, we'll just figure yeah. it out. Okay. okay. Here we go. Ready, Corey, you ready to do this? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Take a road trip or fly to a different state. One. Road Two. <laughs> well, Spoiler alert. Well, Corey, road trip. you want a road trip? I, um, you know, I think fly. I'm going to be different than you. I want to okay. fly there. I want to get there. I want to start my trip. You want to go. You go. Yeah. yeah. And for me, the journey is part of the experience. Again, with or without child and car might affect that answer. But I still, th I love to drive. I love a nice drive, listening to a podcast. You do love to drive. And I know that yeah. about you. I'm sticking with my answer. Okay, I love that answer. Okay, ready? I'm gonna count to three. We both have to answer at the same time, okay? Got it. Got it. Dress up for a wedding or attend a Renaissance fair. One, two, three. Renaissance, Renaissance fair. Renaissance fair. Okay. <laughs> it's too much work dressing up for a wedding. Yeah, I mean, why can't we wear, a, some people wear kilts to weddings. So you could actually, yeah. you know, get, best of both worlds with that one but yeah i i think the fun of dress up versus the fanciness of weddings kind of kind of more my speed 
Yeah, and, and we had so much fun at the Renaissance in this movie that I actually want to go to a Renaissance fair now. 100%. So I'm glad yeah. we have the same answer. Okay, should I do the next one? Yes. Spend a day without a cell phone or camp out in a tent in the backyard. One, two, three. No cell phone. No cell phone. No cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> they do that one too. Love it. Yeah, oh, that's good. I, I just can't be outside wow. in your tent. Like, mm, my bed's right there. I know. I know. Backyard is too tempting. But no, in home. this movie, you and I, we did. Yes. Tent in one of the scenes. Yeah. I don't so, want to reveal the circumstance that lead to that revelation. But yes, there is some sleeping in a tent. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I'd want to do that again. No. 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 Oh, okay. Here's one. Write a wedding speech or prepare for a business pitch. One, two, three. Business pitch. Red wedding speech. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Really? You can tell more jokes with a wedding speech. Oh, no. I mean, I feel, what'd you say? I said that is pressure, though. Like the wedding speech is always a big pressure, pressure cooker. I think because a business pitch is sort of it's a it's a business and then a right. wedding speech is like someone's huge big day actually mm -hmm. i had to speak at my brother's wedding and i was so nervous yeah and you're an actress but it is it's something about live like that you're right i might have to hmm, I'm, I'm wondering if i made the wrong choice here but i have yeah. to stick with my answer i gotta stick with my gut you on it you can't move but you can't change you're right like a bad business pitch just like oh that was embarrassing and then yeah you just move on a bad wedding? Speech You're ruining spot? someone important. You're ruin the wedding. I love that we both just think we're going to ruin the day, but like. <laughs> we have more, like, have more confidence in our writing ability. I know. I know. I, I just sitting down and writing something heartfelt. I, I just, yeah. I would get so nervous. Okay. All right. So you need um, this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Learn how to waltz or compete in a horseshoe match. One. I know what you're going to say. Two, <laughs> three. Learn how to waltz. Oh, really? Yes, because I don't know how to waltz properly, but I do know how to throw a horseshoe. So I feel like there's more I can learn from the, you know, yeah. I love that you went with the learning aspect because yeah. for me, it's like, I just want to do something I know how to do. Yeah. <laughs> Very like Megan I, of you. Very Megan of you. I know, I know. I just, I don't yeah. want to learn something new. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, my hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, that's how bad I would be at throwing a horseshoe. Yeah, yeah. Stick with the waltz, and you're yeah. you're an amazing dancer. So, so you know, go with okay. what you're good at. Thank you, Corey. Okay, um, okay. Take a late night stroll, or sit by a warm fire. One, two, three. Sit by a fire. I want to do both. Um, I don't want to go on a long walk, but then I want to sit by a fire. But um, yeah, I'm lazy too. Sit by a fire. <laughs> <laughs> so we could walk to the fire, like you said. Like you could you could walk to the fire. The reason I said no is because those long walks in these films are often very very cold, and half half the job is to act like you're not cold. So Wait, I think this is real life, not movies. My life is moving. What can I tell you? It's, it's, I can't tell the difference anymore. <laughs> You're always in movie land. I, I do love, I do love, I don't know. Again, your answer was right. This is both because I, I do love both. So let's, let's agree to say, let's go on a long walk that leads to a nice walk. But where are we walking? Yeah. Again, are you walking, you know, in Alaska, in the middle of a winter? Area, a crowded street. Like I have to know where I'm walking. There's not enough specifics where I feel like you can narrow down a fire There's a fireplace. Well, it could be very cold. The fireplace. I could be on the beach. That's right. There, there, there's just too many options. We needed more context to properly answer this question. But we, we did our best. We did our best. Yeah. We're, you know what? We're by a fire. I think we both want to be lazy. We just want to sit by a fire. Yeah. Yeah. Not walking on fire, but just walking, sitting down next to a fire. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Sitting by a fire, but not walking there. Yeah, no, right. no, no, no. And it has to be like kind of warm, not too cold. Yeah. You know, the things, the fire stuff can't get in your eyes. Yeah, the wind needs to be blowing in the right direction. Yeah, that way. This could take um, a <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right, Corey. Um, we just want to say thank you so much for everyone, everyone out there joining us. Um, we cannot wait for you to watch the premiere of our movie, our new movie called Road Trip Romance. Okay. Tune in for Road Trip Romance on Saturday, May 14th at 8, 7 central only on the Hallmark Channel. Corey, that was great. What I will say at the very end, also, why don't you tweet with us? You can tweet along using the hashtag Road Trip Romance. Hashtag Road Trip Romance. And I think I'm going to tweet too. So join me. It's going to be fun. Corey, it's so nice to see you again. So good to chat and see you again. And uh, 